Hey guys and girls, my name is Alan, and welcome to today's tip slash tutorial video, I guess. So as you can probably gather from the title of the video, today I'm going to be talking about how to maximise the relics that you can earn from doing the daily challenges. Now, I play Uncharted 4 multiplayer on a pretty weird schedule. Uh, I'm, well, I play on, I play most, most of my games on a pretty weird schedule, but Uncharted 4 multiplayer is a special exception. Uh, so what I do generally is I play once every three days. Now... Uh, some of you might already know why I'm playing once every three days and some of you are probably thinking well, why are you playing once every three days um, so the reason why I play once every three days is because of the challenges now you earn one new challenge every single day and you can have up to a maximum of three challenges at any given time so therefore if I play once every three days then once I jump on I can complete all three challenges and then that's it I'm done I can earn my relics and then I can move on to another game or you know whatever so that's me maximising the number of relics I can earn per given gaming session that I do on Uncharted 4 multiplayer. So that's the first thing that I do, is I play once every three days. Now the second thing I do to maximise the number of relics I can earn from the challenges is to swap the challenges out themselves. Now some of you might already do this naturally, uh, some of you might not. And today I'm going to talk about why I do what I do and the benefits of doing it. So let's just take my situation for example. So you get three challenges every, every three days. Now the challenges can range from... Uh, a payout of 250 to 450 and obviously the difficulty of the challenge scales with the reward now I wouldn't say any of the 450 challenges are really hard but some of them can be quite time consuming so if you want to get in get out really quick <laughs> I'm not gonna say it uh, if you want to get in and out really quick then um, you can you can do what I do and sort of exchange the time consuming ones for an easier one uh, a less than time consuming one uh, and I'll talk about that more in, in the, some of the examples that I, I've got in the game later on. But for the time being, 250 is generally an easy challenge. 450 is quite hard or quite time consuming. I guess it depends on, on how serious a player you are. Um, some people aren't particularly good at this game. And I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to bash you or anything. But you might be better off sticking with the easier challenges. Because as I say, if the if you're already finding them quite hard and, and then they also take a lot of time as well, the amount of time you're going to be spending trying to complete that challenge, even though it's a bigger payout, probably isn't going to be worth it. So if you get 251 and you think, yeah, it's pretty doable, uh, then, you know, it might be worth sticking with it. But if, like me, most of the 250 challenges are really easy, you know, immediately I'm going to swap them out to something a bit more challenging just so I can try and get a bigger payout. But as I said, personal preference. So I've got a total of eight examples to show you. I'm going to go through each of the examples one at a time and then just go through my thought process and explain to you what I was thinking at the time and why I decided to swap or not swap, you know, depending on the situation. So day one, uh, as you can see, all three challenges, 250, all really easy. But because they're all 250 payout, I'm going to swap more immediately because I'm not interested in 250. I want a bigger payout. And as I said, the lowest you can get is 250. So if you swap these out, uh, well, worst case scenario, you get another 250 challenge. But the best case scenario is that I get something higher and therefore it's going to be you know, m worth my time to complete. Now, before I continue, yes, there is a risk involved with swapping challenges. You could swap a 250 and get another 250, in which case you would have made a loss of 50 relics. And if you get lumbered with a, a crappier challenge, then... Not only would you be annoyed about losing the 50, you'll also have a bit of a harder time completing the challenge that you've never got. Uh, best case scenario is, of course, you swap a 250 and you get a 450 challenge. Uh, it's, I mean, it's a bit of a risk when you pick one in between, like 320 or a, a 350. But again, that's down to you. Whether or not you want to gamble is your choice. Whether or not you think you can do it is your choice. Um, this is not something I'm telling you you should do. It's just something that, as I said, I do and I thought it'd be interesting to share with you guys and girls because it's a tip that's kind of helped me to, to accumulate the number of relics I have. Um, you know, you might only gain like a bonus, a small bonus every now and then. But if you do it, you know, once every three days, as I said, for a couple of weeks, couple of months at a time, eventually all those relics are going to add up and you're going to be able to open a few more chests. Okay, so disclaimers out of the way. I'm going to move on to my first example and I'm going to walk you through it. So as you can see straight away, I've got three really easy challenges at 250 relics each. Uh, immediately I'm gonna swap these out doesn't matter how doesn't matter what they are because they're so easy I can do them straight away so it's not a problem now the first draw I'm offered picking up treasures sniper downs or Rafika downs now as you can see there's only one 450 challenge there so immediately I'm gonna go for that one but in hindsight sniping in this game is kind of tricky um, because of the revive system because of the fact it's it's only a one hit down if you get a headshot I actually remember that at the time thinking why the hell did I pick this because it took me quite a few matches to get it done. So in hindsight maybe I should have just gone with the Rafika downs or maybe in picking up treasures but until they introduced Bounty Hunt, this was recorded before Bounty Hunt, I never really played TDM 
it's not the sort of thing that I go to multiplayer for for Uncharted. Um, so I probably would have gone in hindsight with the Rafik Hub. Then again, 450 relics versus 320 relics. I guess maybe greed got the better of me at that time. But as I said, it's a risk reward thing. So the next challenge down is uh, six heavy weapons, which you know really easy. But I swapped it out, and as you can see, the draw gave me all challenges of a higher level relics. So 320, which is good. So you've got the AR60 downs, or you'll get the Spirit of Gin or the G26. Now, I'd have happily done any of those three, but I know from experience that the Gin is going to take the longest because you need to buy that as a mystical. Also with the ARX, you have to buy that, so it's going to take a while. Whereas with the G26, I've got it straight away. I can use it straight away. I don't need to worry about buying it or anything like that. And I can just put it on as a secondary, so immediately I went for that one. And the final challenge was 10 pistol downs, but obviously really easy, so I've swapped it out for the draw. Again, gives me three options. As you can see, you could potentially get lumbered with a 250 challenge, but I didn't pick it. That's fine. Uh, 10 C4 downs probably would have been a bit easier than the 11 barrack downs because obviously you've got access to the equipment already, so you don't need to buy it. But 450 versus 320, I mean, I want to go for the 451, right? So that was that example. Moving on to day two. Okay, so three challenges. As you can see, the first one's already 450, so immediately I'm not going to touch that one. Second one is 250. I'm definitely going to swap that one. 350, probably going to keep that one as well because it's a pretty decent payout and I don't really want to risk it, um, especially when the only option is to go to 450, which is a long shot at best. So I swapped the middle one out, and as you can see, the three options are use 15 mysticals, complete five TDMs, or get 16 downs. So straight away, I know I'm going to go for the pistol because I've got the pistol handy and it says any pistol. So I'm pretty decent with the pistols anyway. You might have seen a couple of my matches already. Uh, so that was a no-brainer. Uh, using 15 mysticals, pretty easy, but very time-consuming. Same with 5 TDMs. As I said, I'm not a fan of TDM in, in Uncharted 4 multiplayer, so therefore doing that one would have been annoying anyway. Now, moving on to the next example. So, I was given, again, 250, 250, 320. Um, so, I know I'm going to swap out the first two straight away. So, the first one gives me a draw of um, Aegis Downs, Barrack Downs, or G26 Downs. Again, all the same value. But I know that the, the middle one is probably going to take the longest because I need to buy the heavy weapon first. So, it's either going to be the Aegis or the G26. This one's down to personal preference because they're both the same number of kills. They're both pistols. So, for me, I went for the G26 because... I was trying to work on challenges, therefore it overlaps with that. But could have, I would have happily done the Aegis as well, no bother to me. Next one, Pistol Downs. I could have kept it and it would have coincided with the first challenge, so I could have completed both at the same time, literally at the same time. So in t if time is, is your main factor, then that would have worked, no problem. But for me, 250 is not, not worth doing, so I swapped it out. And as you can see, I got lucky, I got 450 for the Chinta Mining Stone, so no brainer, went for that one, Chinta Mining Stone is relatively easy to use. I think this was before they nerfed it down to one stone, so it would have been twice as quick. I don't know if they've changed the challenge or not, it could still be 20 uh, with a single stone uh, if you buy it from the store, but if it's 20 stones, I think it's still worth doing because it's not that bad, um, but obviously it would have been a lot quicker before the, uh, before the nerf to one. So, the third challenge, I did eventually decide to swap it out because mines can take a while. Um, a bit like sniping, it's sort of frustrating because obviously you can't determine where enemies are going to go. The mines are so easy to spot in this game. I, I disarm so many of them. Uh, so I swapped it out and I got lucky. 450 for the RPGs. Again, no brainer there, but I would have happily denied the other two. But 450 for the RPG, as I said, really good result. Moving on to the next example. So I was given 350, 250, 250. Now 350, um, I could do it, that's not a problem, but I don't really play a lot of TDM. And I said this was recorded before Bounty Hunters came out, so I'm not too sure um, how long it would have taken me to do it in the TDM. So I decided to swap it out and I got given, as you can see, not a great draw, but because it was already quite a high number of relics, um, I just went for the, the same amount, which is get the 50 downs with the long weapons, which I would have done in the course of an evening anyway, so it's not a big deal. Next one down, I swapped out the sidekicks one, and I got, again, I got a pretty decent draw here. So I got 320, 320, and 450. Went for the 450 straight away because obviously it's, it's a weapon I've already got access to, and while it's not a great weapon, I don't like using this weapon at all because it's so weak. 
So yeah, in this case, I could have done any of them happily, but 450 relics drew me straight away. Now the final one, so I swapped out the mysticals and I got, again, a decent draw. Uh, again, happily could have done any of these three, but 450 for the Argoel Downs. It's a decent weapon, a bit slower at fire and a bit of records, a bit, bit much sometimes, but... I mean, for the relics, I'll I'll do it, and I'm not not too fussed about using a pistol in this game, as you all know by now. So, the fifth example. This is a fairly decent uh, set of challenges: uh, 350, 250, 450. So I'm not going to touch the bottom one because it's already 450, which is decent. And it coincides with the first challenge, 350 for the pistol down. So I'll be able to work on those two at exactly the same time, get it done, probably two matches, maybe not even that. Um, and they're both finished quick time, which is really good. So the only one that I need to swap out really is the second one. So I swap it out and I get 320, 320, 450. And would you have it, the 450 challenge is also another pistol down. So it doesn't matter which pistol I use first, I'm going to complete two challenges at exactly the same time. And then I've got another pistol to use. 32 kills altogether, and I get uh, all three challenges complete nice and easy. So that one was a really good swap. Um, well, it was a good set of challenges to start off with, but it was also a really good swap. Okay, so example number six. Um, 320, 320, 320. These are the sort of challenges that I'm a little bit iffy about because... Yeah, you got the potential to go up to 350 or 450, but so this in this sort of situation, it's really a gamble. Um, I mean, they're okay to start off with, but you know they could be better, but it, potentially they could be worse as well. So you're sort of in the middle. So I swap out the first one, and I get lucky. 450 for C4 downs or 450 for the Metler downs. Metler downs are going to be a hell of a lot easier than getting uh, C4 downs. So obviously I went with the Metler, and the next one mines. So I swap that out and. This is exactly the situation that I was talking about. So I got exactly the same 320, 320, 320, but I could do any of these quicker than I could have done the mine challenge. So that's not a problem. So obviously I just went with AK because it was the easiest out of the lot. And then I decided to swap the grenades in the end because I felt it was worth the risk. And as you can see, I sort of got lucky. Uh, 320, 320, and then 350. Uh, I got the mines again. So you can sometimes get the same challenges, but it's a good job they give you three so you can pick. Uh, so obviously I went with the pistol down, 16 downs is, is not that many kills. Okay, so example number 7. Now, 350, 320, 350, uh, on the whole pretty decent. The only one that I would swap immediately is the middle one because 320 is kind of low. 350 for heavy downs is doable and 350 for... Any five matches complete in any playlist, really easy. That's not even a challenge. You'd have to do that anyway to get the challenges done, so it works out well. So as you can see, I swap the middle one, and I get given 450, 350, 350. So a really good swap. Uh, but obviously, I went for the 450 because the sniper sidekick is pretty easy to use. You literally just have to call her in, and that's it. You don't need to get any downs with her or anything like that. Um, so it'll help the team, it'll help me, and uh, I don't have to worry about getting any kills or anything like that. So just play the game as normal. So nice and easy swap, nice and easy decision. Okay, so moving on to example number eight. As you can see, um, the middle challenge I sort of left from the day before. So I've sort of didn't complete the final challenge, came back after two days. So I got the three challenges again. And these are the three new challenges. So the middle one, as I said, was from the from the session before. I never completed it. So I left it as it was. Um, the first one, 250, immediately going to swap that one because 250 is not enough and it's a really easy challenge. And as you can see, I've got 320, 350, 450. So ignore the first one. Not only is it only 320, but it's mines so and that's going to take forever. Sidekicks would have coincided with the sniper one, so that could have worked out quite well in terms of efficiency of time. But 450 for the, for the revolver downs is, you know, obviously I don't mind using pistols. I could have kept the final challenge. Um, 10 Rafika downs is, is really easy. Uh, 320 is not a bad payout, but obviously I want more, so I swapped out and I got really good. I got a really good draw here. 450, 450, 320. Obviously, going to ignore the 320 straight away. Funnily enough, they're all pistols as well. I'm pretty sure it's random, but it, it's still funny to see this. Uh, so it's a choice again between the G26 and the Ages down, which I had earlier as well, didn't I? So I don't know if maybe there is a pattern, but uh, probably could just be coincidence. So again, personal preference. 
either or, same number of downs, so it makes no difference really which one I pick, it's just whichever weapon I prefer to work on. And as you can see, I decided to go with Aegis this time, probably because I went for the thingy last time and it didn't work out too well or something. I'm assuming, I don't know, it's 16 downs, so it's whatever, but I know that the Aegis is a little bit more powerful than the G26, so maybe that's probably why I changed my mind. Alright then, so a little bit longer video than I anticipated, uh, probably because of the number of examples I included, but you know, I'd rather be thorough than wishy-washy, so hopefully you uh, got the most out of it. Uh, so yeah, as you can saw, on the whole, for the most part, I did quite well with my swaps. Um, I mean, you probably saw from the, uh, the calculations that I did at the end of each example that for the majority, they did pay out better if I did the swap, but there were one or two instances where I probably probably could have stuck as well especially when it comes to time um, time consuming challenges they would have obviously outweighed the uh, the rewards so there's that to think about but apart from that I don't regret any of my swaps so yeah you're not always going to get a good swap I mean that's 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 part of that's part of it you know it, it, it is a risk uh, risk reward sort of thing and you are essentially gambling with your relics but uh, the thing I find with challenges is that when you come across something you haven't yet used that often, it gives you a chance to sort of learn it and stuff. So there is that as well. But as I said, personal preference whether or not you do this. So if you've got any thoughts you'd like to share with me regarding this tip flash tutorial, then let me know in the comment section below. Uh, but until next time, if you enjoyed the video, consider tapping that like button. I really do appreciate it. And uh, well, I'm hoping this video goes out before the weekend, in which case... I will be playing Battlefield at the weekend, so if you want to watch me play through that, then check out my players channel. I'm going to be doing the campaign walkthrough, and then I'll probably post more to play on here. But yeah, that'll do it for today's video. So until next time, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, take care, and I will see you later.